If you are looking to set up a shop that is print on demand so you don't have to deal with inventory and shipping, I'm gonna show you how to easily do that in this video. If you're new here, my name's Jess and I create videos for business owners like you to help you save time and look good online. And today I wanna show you how you can start selling merch like t-shirts, cups, whatever else you wanna sell online. Now, for this video, for this tutorial, you will need a Printify account. That's where you're gonna set up and sell everything. That's where you're gonna upload your artwork. That's where things are gonna get printed, etc. And on the other hand, you will also need either a Shopify account, Wix, WordPress, or a Etsy shop one of those four things. You will need somewhere for this shop to be connected to, and those are the four platforms it connects to. I personally use Etsy. I have also done Printify with WordPress. It's the same process either way, but today in this video, you will see the Etsy back end, uh, not the WordPress. So like I said, you are going to need a Printify account, and I'm assuming you probably don't have one yet. So this is Printify's homepage. You're going to click Start Selling and Set Up Your Account. In this video, I'm not going to be walking you through all of the account setup. I'm really going to walk you through the design part of this process, not the account setup. So you'll go to start selling and then go through that process. And then I'll take you to the back end so you can see what it looks like once you have a store set up. All right, so this is the back end of Printify. You can see all of your listings here. Um, now, I personally have an Etsy shop. I don't have it connected to my website because this is actually kind of a side thing not associated with my business. It will look and act the exact same if you are connecting this to Shopify, Wix, or WordPress. So just keep that in mind. It will look the same. Every piece of this process will be the same, except obviously once you publish your listing, <laughs> you'll log into your website, not Etsy, like I will show you. So we are going to actually start by going over to Canva. So you can use any design software you want. It doesn't have to be Canva. I'm just using this because it's super common. Lots of people use it. So I usually start with a 12 by 12 inch canvas, um, just so that the text or the graphics, whatever, are large enough um, so that it's good quality, good resolution for your design. Now, I will say you do have to be careful about what graphics you're using on Canva because there's copyright issues and whatnot. Um, that's why most of my designs are actually just text. So you want to look into the Canva rules about graphics and all that kind of fun stuff. But for now, I'm just going to click Add Text. Um, and then I'm going to say, like, this is my fun t-shirt <laughs> um, and then I'm going to make it a fun color and we're gonna put this I'm making the text larger here so it fills the canvas so again it's good resolution um, so don't leave the text just tiny in the middle of you know your canvas so it is centered so now I'm ready to download this you do want it as a PNG on a transparent background. Downloading with transparent background is a Canva Pro thing, so you would have to upgrade for that or use a different design software or have some other way to remove the white background because obviously I don't want this <laughs> as a solid white block um, on my t-shirt. So we're gonna download that. Now we're gonna hop back over to Printify. I'm going to click Add a Product. Now, the fun part is Printify has so many things you can print on. So many things. <laughs> For this example, we're going to do a, just a t-shirt. So I actually go to the men's clothing, t-shirts, because they are unisex, and that's what I prefer to print on. Um, you can go through and see all the different styles. You can also look at the brands. But So if you want a Gildan t-shirt, I love Bella and Canvas, so that's the one I'm going to choose. And then it will show you print providers. So I usually recommend choosing a print provider that is available in your country, just so the shipping time 
is shorter for your customers. Um, it's also usually, but not always, sometimes better for pricing as well. Um, so I'm in the US. So like here's three that I can look at. So I'm going to look at and compare the pricing, the shipping cost, and the average production time. Um, but I also want to look at like what sizes are available and what color options do they have available. So that's also something to keep in mind. Like, do you want to go all the way up to 4X? Then dry fulfillment is one of the only ones that will do that. Awkward Styles also has an option. Um, It looks like FYBY also has that option. So you can look at all that and decide which one you want to do, which one is the best fit for your needs, your color color of t-shirt that you want all that kind of fun stuff. Now, important note here, you want to make a note of the price and shipping costs combined. We'll be looking at that in just a second. So keep this number in mind. So I'm going to start designing. So here I'm going to upload my design. And then I can move it around, but you can see this little boundary box. My artwork won't go past that. So Everything has to fit here. You can also see right now it says medium resolution. So I could actually, um, in Canva, I could increase the size that I'm exporting and then it would be higher resolution. So that's another thing you might want to do for your artwork. For this example, I'm just going to keep going because I'm not actually going to publish this t-shirt. So Adjust it wherever you want. You can align it um, however you want. And then up here, the colors, this will give me all the color options for my t-shirt. So um, maybe I want this one. Obviously, (laughs) this pink on yellow is not a great combination. Um, But you can see like, okay, these are the color t-shirt options I'm going to have in my shop. So this is going to show your customers. Here's the design. You have these five color options. Choose your color and size. Check out. Um, You can also preview your t-shirt or whatever product you're printing on. Great. So I'm going to click Save Product. And then I want to edit the listing. So you can choose whichever thumbnail you want. This is all of this you can edit in Etsy or your website or whatever. Um, So don't feel like it has to be like finalized and concrete in this situation. Um, But I do, I mean, it makes sense to just do it here um, just to save a step. So you could change the title, change or add to the description. And then here we select the pricing. Um, Now, remember, the pricing was about eight. 50, 875, whatever. And then shipping was like 480 or something. So we're looking around 12, 13, maybe $14 um, out the door. Now they are like retail price, $15. You are making $6 profit. Great. No, you're not because they don't factor in shipping. <laughs> so you want to be sure and adjust the pricing based on whatever you want to make per sale. Because right now, I'd be making a dollar, maybe two dollars ish <laughs> per t-shirt. Whereas if I edit it to be like twenty dollars, then I'm maybe making more like six dollars per sale. So you can adjust that however you want. But just remember the cost. They are only talking about the cost of the shirt, not shipping. Um, and then you can look at, you know, do you want to show all of the options. Um, if you have variants, like if this printer doesn't have the 3XL of the yellow or the medium of the white, you know, those variants are temporarily out of stock. They don't have those available. Then you can show, you know, sold out or whatever you want to do. Then you would click publish. For this video, I'm not going to click publish <laughs> um, just so that It doesn't show up in my store, Um, but once you're ready, you can click publish here or on the last screen. Um, And now I'm going to hop over and show you like this Atlanta Brave shirt. 
um, and what it looks like in the store. So here, now we're in Etsy. These, This is the back end. This is all my listings. So you can see I have some Christmas ornaments. I have lots and lots of t-shirts. I mostly do t-shirts. I have a few hats, a few mugs, Christmas stockings, etc. some stickers. All of this is from Printify. I don't actually print or ship any of this. All of it is through Printify. So um, I showed you the Atlanta Braves shirt just a second ago. So I'm going to click edit. And you can see, so here's those mock-ups that we saw in Printify when we were setting up the listing. Those transfer over to your listing. So that's the fun part. But you can also make your own mock-ups. Um, or if you have, you know, if you order the t-shirts and take pictures of you or friends wearing them, obviously you can add those to the listings as well. Um, then you can customize, you know, your listing with colors, occasions, holidays, you know, features, whatever. Here's the description you can um, customize. Even though we did it in Printify, you can, if you want to add something here, you can. Um, you have your production partners. Make sure you select that you have a production partner. Add your tags here. Here's your pricing. Um, you do have to, um, when you add a new listing, you do need to come and um, Make sure your shipping information is correct from um, delivery times and all that kind of fun stuff. So that is, I know a second ago I said you don't have to do anything in Etsy, but you do have to come um, look at the shipping information and make sure uh, you have that filled in. But the listing itself does appear on Etsy. So the bulk of the work is done. I misspoke a little bit, but it's a super like five second, super quick thing that you have to do. Um, and then you'll just click publish and you're good to go. Two quick things that I want to point out um, as you're setting up your Printify. One, make sure you turn on rerouting. So basically Printify can reroute your order to another printer if the printer you've selected for that product is out of that t-shirt, that color, etc. So make sure you have that enabled and also make sure that you have the approval for orders on automatic. Otherwise, you have to go in and approve those orders. <laughs> so that kind of defeats the purpose of this being kind of on autopilot. So make sure you enable those two different settings in the back end of Printify. I'm going to link down below on the actual step-by-step -step process of how to connect Printify to Etsy and Shopify and WordPress and all that. I will also link to my Etsy shop if you want to check it out. If you have any questions about Printify or selling these things online, let me know down in the comments and I will see y'all next time.